Hi everyone, Andre here, and I'm going to walk you through the features included in Vivid's Theme Editor version 1.0. Vivid's Theme Editor lets you customize the colors of the graphics, details, text, and drop shadows. To change the values of each, find the Theme Settings file in the Data folder. Change the colors and alpha values by clicking on the color and adjusting to your liking. The colors don't update at runtime, so make sure you edit the colors before hitting play to see the changes. If you don't want to customize the colors, choose from one of our six presets included with the package. If you want to add your own text and use the theme editor values, it only takes a few clicks to set up. You can assign the text color and drop shadow colors with the simple script added to your text. The main color is used for graphics and details other than text. If you want the text to use the theme colors, check the text box. If it's being used as a drop shadow, check the shadow box. Make sure to only have one box checked at a time on any text. If the game object has an image component attached and you check the has image box, the color of the image will use the theme editor value. To customize the background tint, open up the child object menu on the tints game object. Enable the corresponding color to your assigned theme and adjust the color value. And that's it. Vivid's theme editor is really easy to use and we hope you take full advantage of its features in your projects. Thanks for watching.